Hello, my name is Jeff Rudd. I am the leader and original founder of United People. In order to keep out of an election, Fianna Fáil is currently willing to remain silent about a lot of things. They are willing to say nothing about the latest exposure of Leo Varadkar wanting more fake online accounts, something that he's actually been found doing in the past, creating fake online accounts. They're willing to say nothing about ongoing job path law breaking and many abuses within it, of which United People has literally hundreds of victim statements on. They are saying nothing about the hiring of a man that worked for UK MI5, who actively worked against Ireland. Some of Ireland's people who were looking for facts and evidence and which he tried to, to deny to them constantly. They are willing to accept everything as Fine Gael is doing and let them away with it. Even worse. They are willing to prop up absolutely failing ministers in high office and a government that is carrying out Irish and international law breaking on a number of levels. And by the way, you are paying the fines for this at an international level. But biased media and the politicians in the doll are not telling me all this. Absolute silence on that particular topic as well. They're saying nothing about the new Fine Gael introduced social media spying on the public. All this silence and acceptance of many wrongdoings is exactly what Gemma Hadarki spoke about in her recent video that has now over 50,000 views. Her video, if you haven't seen it yet, is available on my Facebook page in a number of locations. It is also available on the unitedpeople.ie website, front, front page. The silence of the state and biased media, you will note, mentions bugger all about the aforementioned and more. RTE News alone is an absolute biased, news hiding, fact twisting, unfunny joke. Anyone remember their laughable attendance quoted numbers during water protests of the past? Absolutely inaccurate. Even Gardy I personally spoke to confirmed numbers from helicopters overhead as to what the more accurate numbers were and then suddenly on RTE those numbers were halved and even uh, further uh, quartered. Anyway, very few is asking why Fianna Fáil is willing to do what is right. Very few is willing to ask why Fianna Fáil is still aiding and betting crimes going unexposed and untackled. Very few is asking why Fianna Fáil fear an election and the answer to that alone is very telling. Very few is asking these questions, but they should be. We all should be. When are blind following people going to accept that a, a basic fact that elected corruption, greed, silence and more are matched by a biased media that is doing no one any good? It's certainly not doing the nation any good as a whole. We have simply got to get off the merry ground of re-electing the same rotten cronyism, nepotism, chancellor's characters again and again. And people wonder why some things never change. It's simply because we're still sticking back into the doll the same rotten badness. End of story. What's the solution? Well, part of the answer is that, for those willing to accept it, we have got to change our voting pattern. The answer is obvious for those willing to accept it. We have simply got to change the way we vote. We have to stop thinking parochially, we have to stop thinking small-minded, we have to stop thinking traditionally. We have to start electing or re-electing people that are what they say they are and not just fall for the constant PR spin while they're distracting you as some other issue is going on in the background which they don't want you to know about or they won't discuss. 
they, the people, you, can be the change a lot of people is looking for. When it comes to elections, general elections, local elections, you then have this specific power. It may not feel like it, but you get to hire and fire. You get to change policies, you get to say enough's enough. Opting out isn't an option. Opting out means that you're willing to accept the crap that's there, but you're not willing to change it. So make a difference. Be a difference. Be the specific difference. Thank you for listening. My name is Jeff Rudd of United People.